feeling like a shark in a shrimp tank. Big fish, small pond in the shrimp tank. Welcome back to The Shrimp Tank here in Columbus. I'm here with our co-host, John Weaver. Uh, we are joined today by Patrick McCurdy from Kimball Midwest. Uh, and uh, we've just had an excellent show and a wrap-up. Uh, and we're going to recap a little bit of some of the highlights that we've had from today uh, that we feel will be beneficial and useful for our listeners. So, Patrick, we talked a lot during our interview about culture and the importance of culture at Kimball. And I think you had the best definition of culture that I've ever heard. So I'd love you to share that with our listeners right now. Sure. I, uh, I think as we went through that, it was fun to talk about it. And, and that idea for us was that the belief and actions of our people are what make up our culture. And uh, that ability to have a common language and common purpose that we use around all that uh, was one of the main differences for us through a lot of the challenges we faced. That's great. I, I love it. Uh, you know, Go, going in the in the culture, part of it is personal relationships, and I know that that's at the forefront of uh, the success you guys have with actually your customers. Um, what are some critical factors uh, that you guys focus on to develop those personal relationships to give them the the Kimball experience? Yeah, I think for us, it really is a people business first, and so that ability to be on site with a customer to really learn their their problems and and then be able to help be a part of the solutions to those problems is one of the main things that differentiates us. Uh, and then that ability to do it consistently. You know, a lot of times anybody can do it once, but we're gonna keep showing up. We're gonna be a part of it um, for the long haul and, uh, and really be a partner in, in that customer's performance. What was the, what's the motto, what's the saying? Go with the best, go with Kimball Midwest? Absolutely, go with the best, go Kimball Midwest. There you go. Uh, and, and finally, one other thing we touched on that I thought was really interesting was uh, Kimball is a family-owned business. And we talked a lot about uh, how a lot of family-owned businesses can get kind of rigid, um, especially transitioning from one generation to the next. Um, I just was wondering if you could share with the viewers right now um, some of the successes that your family has had being flexible despite being in a family-owned business. Yeah, I think the neat part for us has been um, a, a loose structure creates a lot of that flexibility. Um, so we had we had kind of a path and a general idea of where we wanted to go. And then we had a lot of support and resources. So whether that was you know, through some of the local um, family business groups uh, or finding third party resources that could help us, um, we were really fortunate to have the right amount of structure, mentoring, uh, and kind of tutoring or caring throughout the process uh, to help facilitate that, that generational um, element that's always, always real in a business or in a family business. Yeah, it's a tough, uh it's a tough problem to tackle, but you guys are crushing it. Across yeah. three generations three now. Three generations now. We're working on it. Working hard. Getting ready to get the fourth in. We'll wow, see how yeah, it goes. Get those young ones to work. That's right. Early and often. It, what, one thing, too, to add to that that it made me think about this that we didn't really touch on in the podcast is just your guys' involvement in the community. And how, how have you guys really selected uh, who you guys want to partner with and work with and support? How, how have you guys done that as a family? I think that's, that's a great question. And it's one of those challenging ones, I think, where you want to be able to help everybody. You know, when, when you go down this, and, and at the end of the day, that's not always possible. So you, you have to, as a group, um, whether that was my father and my uncles or, or uh, my, myself and my, my brothers, sisters, and cousins, you have to be able to kind of come together and frame what are the things we, we want and can support and can get behind. And then for us, it was kind of not just get behind uh, monetarily, but get behind with our actual actions and work. And so um, a lot of the work with the kid again, or um, you know, our, our, the Catholic uh, Church foundations, um, the, the list would go on, but uh, make a wish. There, there's a lot of them, but we wanted to make sure we'd personally be involved with them. And as long as we could answer that, then I think, I think we, got, uh, we got right up there and, and, and got active. Yeah, that, that's great. One, one uh, business owner and leader in Columbus once told me, you know, I asked, like, how do you determine really where you, uh, who you partner with or who you support? And like, is there a plan for that? And he basically told me no. He said, support who you want to support because you believe in it and because you want to be a part of it. And that really stuck with me. So appreciate you sharing. Awesome. Great advice. Well, Patrick, thank you so much for joining us uh, in the Shrimp Tank. It's a great episode. I encourage everyone to uh, go out and download it or stream it wherever they get their podcasts. Um, make sure you give us a like and, and subscription. Hit that notification bell for the Shrimp Tank uh, YouTube channel so you can find out when our new episodes are live. Um, if you guys want to hear more about Patrick, obviously there's a podcast. You can also go to KimballMidwest.com. 
And uh, for Phil and myself and for Patrick, thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see everyone next week. I've been feeling like a shark in a shrimp tank. Big fish, small pond in the